Shumai Kroisu e channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. Viheno James Davis. My name is James Davis. Kroisu e Gamri. Welcome to Wales. Um, this is uh, a continuance of my series of persecuted Christians in the past. I've used this a booklet where it talks about persecuted Christians in in each in each country. So tragically and sadly, yes, my brothers and sisters have been persecuted the world over, and my country, Great Britain, is no different. In this um, in this video. I am going to be talking about persecuted Christians in England. Now, for those who don't know where England is, England is part of the island of Great Britain. It is also the largest island of Great Britain, as well as being the, sorry, not island, country. England is the largest country of the island of Great Britain. Britain and also England is the largest country of the United Kingdom. If you don't know the difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain, then please do your own research. I am not here to to teach you um, a lesson in in geography but instead I'm here to teach you all a lesson in theology okay um, so yes I will be talking about th the persecution of Christians in England excluding Wales Scotland and Northern Ireland Th this video is specifically going to be talking about England and only England. Now, the Christian faith, right, sadly and tragically, Christianity has been declining in, in, in England. Yes, as well as, uh, U, as, as well as the UK, but especially in England. Um, for, for some time, okay? I, I think it's, it's, it's been since it's been it's been happening. The decline of Christianity in England has been happening slowly and gradually since the nineteen sixties. But in the last couple of decades, that decline has rapidly escalated. There have been situations where in hospitals. In England, doctors and nurses have been sacked from their jobs simply for wearing a cross. Doctors and nurses in in hospitals and care homes have been sacked from the from the jobs for praying for patients, even if right, even if the patients asks for prayers not that's irrelevant you're not allowed to pray christian prayers in public in case it may offend other people from other faiths well with all due respect traditionally and and historically we are a christian country this is a christian country england is a christian country and if you don't like the fact that we are a Christian country, then leave. And if you can't leave, because you cannot afford to leave, then shut up and put up with it. Because we are a Christian country, whether you like it or not. But now things are getting worse. Right? In, uh, in, well, fairly recently, because I've got it, uh, Written, I've got it written uh, down here in my, in my uh, notepad, right? A Christian, a, 
a Christian woman by the name of Isabel Vaughan Spruce was arrested. <laughs> you know, you're not going to believe this, right? Was arrested. She was arrested for silently praying on her on her own, standing on a pavement in the city of. Birmingham, in the West Midlands, opposite an abortion clinic. She, she was standing opposite this clinic. And the police it came up to her and asked her if she was protesting. She said, so I'm just praying, as, a, as a, you can see, on my own. And they arrested her. And what was her crime? She was standing on her own in silence, not troubling anyone. Praying in silence on her own. And she was arrested. Welcome to George Orwell's 1984. We are now living in in a country where we now have thought police stabbings right asian grooming gangs who are sexually exploiting young female girls are getting away scot-free stabbings are happening all over the country Foreigners are throwing acid into people's faces. Nothing's been done about that. But if you but if you pray, even if it's silently praying, that is now a crime. Welcome to England. Where you thought we were in a Christian country technically we are but now no not really and fair play she made a complaint and she's now got videos on youtube i will post a couple of the i will post a couple of the videos in the description box below a second christian to be um well she wasn't arrested per se but she was told off she had a bollocking from, from a police officer because this Christian woman was singing Christian hymns outside the church in, in the, in, L it happened in, L L in London somewhere, right? She was singing Christian hymns outside a church on a street. And a police officer who didn't have a clue about how the law works, unless the laws change, we're not allowed to be Christian anymore, I don't know. But she was saying to the woman, this Christian a woman, you're not allowed to sing hymns outside of the church grounds. You have to be on the church grounds with church permission. Ah, no. S since when? Where is that in, in Article Section 9, where it talks about freedoms of human rights and freedom of religion. This Christian a woman who got bargain, by the way, her, her name is, well, she calls her, her, herself, I don't know if this is her real name, but she calls herself Harmony London. And she was told to move on. She she didn't. And when the, the police officer couldn't go anywhere, she walked she walked away. And as the Christian woman was telling her, "What have I done wrong?" Never guess what this police woman did. She stuck a tongue out, but. It wasn't a poke, right? A poking your a t a poking your tongue out is doing this. No, 
she went and the of course then the reaction on on the christian woman she was uh, uh, like what the hell now anyone who does this right is de- is is demonic right what she did reminds me of, of regan from that horror film the exorcist yeah as she was walking away she went But as Christians, persecution is to be expected. Please turn with me to 2 Timothy. And I've got a surprise for you. Look at the size on this. Look at the size on, on this uh, uh, Bible. Now I have shown this. I have shown this uh, Bible in my previous uh, videos in the past. And it's huge. Look at it. It's a tome. Right, okay. We'll just be... I, I'll just finish th- th- this off by reading two scriptures, okay? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And uh, this is also from the King James Version, okay? 2 Timothy chapter... Sorry, it's 1 Timothy. I'm in the wrong chapter. Sorry. 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse, no I am right, what am I talking about? It is 2 Timothy, sorry. Two Timothy chapter 3 verse 12, that's what I was looking for. Yes, sorry, right? So 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12, y- yes. And all who will live godly in Christ Jesus shall be persecuted. So if any Christian reads and studies the Bible, God's holy word, if you are being persecuted for being a Christian, if you are being persecuted for following Christ, do not be, do not be surprised. In fact, take it as a blessing, right? Yes, and all who will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Okay, and in the last scripture, please turn with me to, to the Gospel of John. John chapter 15, from verse 18 to verse 19. So that is John, the Gospel of John chapter 15 from verse 18 to verse 19 and these are the words of jesus christ our lord and savior himself if the world hates you you know that it hated me before it hated you if you were of the world the world would love his own but because you are not of the world But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. To my dear, beloved Christian brothers and sisters in Christ. This world is not our home. We don't belong here. If anyone asks you, where are you from, that is not important. It's not important where you are from. What is important is where you are going after you depart from this world. There's only two destinations, heaven or hell. That is it. Reincarnation is a lie. Limbo is a lie. Man is only destined to die once, and after death comes the judgment, the judgment of a God. And then he he decides which department you shall go into for all eternity. 
right? This world is not our home. Even even when Christ was being questioned by Pontius Pilate, what did he say? I am not of this world. This is not my kingdom. And as Christians, we should be the same. Our home is in the is in the world to come. And that is God's kingdom. If the world hates you, remember it hated me first. Those are the words of Jesus Christ. Okay. But do not despair. Because in 1 John, I didn't put a book, a, m- a mark in this scripture that I'm about to read because I didn't plan of reading it. But as I've been preaching, now it's come to me. Right. In, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. There we are, right. There we are, right, yeah, here we are. If you've been persecuted, do not uh, despair. In 1 John, chapter 4, verse 4. You are of God, little children. And have overcome them. Because greater is he. Who is in you. Than he. Who is in the world. So. What does this mean? Okay. Because. Greater is he. That's the Holy Spirit. Or God. Well be the Holy Spirit. Because okay. Because he's in you. Because greater is he, the Holy Spirit, who is in you, than he, Satan, who is in the world. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Please don't hesitate to share this. Look at the size of this Bible. It's massive, isn't it? Sorry. Right. So, yeah. Um... And please don't hesitate to share this uh, video and to my brothers and sisters in Christ. If I do not get to see any of you in this lifetime, I shall see you all in our Father's kingdom. Thank you all and God bless you all in Jesus' precious name. Amen.